He is the oldest survivor of the Holocaust. And tonight he's right here in the Southland. KCAL Live political reporter Dave Bryan joins us live from the Mid Wilshire area with his survivor's story. Dave? Well, Sandy, Sylvia, Leopold Engleitner is visiting Los Angeles from his home in Austria on his Unbroken Will USA tour. That sounds uh, pretty normal, you know, the kind of thing that happens all the time. But this is a man who has cheated death his entire life, and he has lived more than a century. He was actually around when the Spanish flu pandemic hit the world in 1918, caught the flu, and survived. And then things got even worse. When Leopold Ingleitner was growing up in Austria, the most recent war he and his classmates studied was the American Civil War. And as a young man, he met former Austrian ruler Franz Joseph, whose reign began in 1849. Now Ingleitner is 103 years old. He'll be 104 in July. I am a happy boy, and I enjoy everything, and I have no time to die. Just to prove the point, Engleitner and his associates have traveled 64,000 miles in the last 10 years, speaking to audiences like this one in the Mid-Wilshire district, raising awareness about the Holocaust. You see, Engleitner is the world's oldest known male Holocaust survivor. He spent four years in three concentration camps where he was starved down to 54 pounds at one point, beaten and kicked by his captors. On the way back uh, into the uh, concentration camp, one SS man kicked him so hard that he destroyed uh, some of his testicles. From then on, uh, I was not able to have uh, children. His first camp was the infamous Buchenwald, where starving inmates were forced to work in a quarry. They were breaking rocks their 12-hour days with their bare hands, with little food, little water, and many of these people were, if you talk to Leopold, you find that on an average day, 10, 12, 20 people were dying and they'd have to drag them up to the quarries. Now, here's the other surprising thing about Leopold Engleitner. He's not Jewish. He's a devout member of the Jehovah's Witnesses who, unlike the Jewish prisoners, could have walked out of the concentration camp at any time if he had signed a paper renouncing his religion and endorsing the Nazis. Uh, one assessment. Uh, said to him, said to me, uh, you have two possibilities. Either you sign the paper and you get out, or you die here. And then he said, I will not die here, nor will I sign the paper. What's unique about his story is that this man actually had a choice. Jehovah's Witnesses were different than the Jewish experience in that these people went to the camps and they were given the opportunity to walk out of the camp at any time. All they had to do was sign a little document renouncing their faith and swearing their allegiance to Hitler and the Reich, and they wouldn't do it. Instead of signing the Nazi loyalty papers, Engleitner, in a symbol of defiance, bought a battered black suitcase like this one in the concentration camp, knowing that someday he would be freed. Three years ago, on his last visit to L.A., Leopold Engleitner vowed he'd return someday. Now he's made good on that promise and vows this won't be his farewell tour in California. I'll be big. And now you're seeing on the screen a list of, uh, of places where Leopold Engleitner will be appearing on his Unbroken Will USA tour, including the Lemley's uh, Theater in West Hollywood. Uh, also appearance at UCLA, Moore Park College, and then he'll be back here at the L.A. Holocaust Museum. This is a man who has the heart of a lion and the courage of a warrior, although he put in his time in concentration camps because he was a conscientious objector and a member of the Jehovah's Witnesses. We're live in Mid-Wilshire, Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.